Hello. I don't do this much on my la on my regular Facebook, but I need to do more because I know that there are many women that are suffering from this midlife phase and may not even realize that's what it is for them. Um, I help women through the midlife phase and beyond with, with the food, the mindset, the stress reduction and all that, bringing your body back into a better balance, the natural way, the natural way. And so I'm part of a few groups just to kind of see what women are talking about in this phase and the type of help that they need. And I'm in this one Facebook group that is so, so sad because there is no help for them, no direction. They just post someone's questions and anybody in the Facebook group can answer and all it is is just other women wanting to know and so no one has the answers for them they're just giving advice to each other and they're probably not even giving good advice <laughs> oh my god and so many questions are about HRT I'm on I'm going to my GP I'm going to my doctor and I'm going to get on hormones and he put me on hormones and I'm not feeling good or my doctor's telling me to go on antidepressants I'm feeling anxious I'm more emotional than you than usual I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on in my body I'm going to get tested and I'm like oh my god right it's so weird because I've been researching studying and doing this type of work for years and it's still so hard to believe that there's so many women out there that don't know what they're going through, what their body's going through, that some of these symptoms are natural symptoms. Well, they don't have to be quite this natural. <laughs> natural symptoms when you start going through the midlife phase, right? So you can start. at. I started at the age of 43. So some women are starting pretty young now. Also, we got to think of all the things that are screwing around our chemical, hormonal balance within our body, toxins from our environment, the horrible toxins that are in the food that is sold in grocery stores, the soil is depleted, um, the conventional meats and dairies are pumped full of those animals, pumped full of hormones and antibiotics and really horrible things that now when you eat those foods, you ingest them and they screw with your hormonal imbalance. So I'm seeing a lot more problems with women, um, even at a very young age. So if you're somebody who's like going, oh my God, I have all this belly fat, I can't get rid of it. And I'm so much more emotional and I'm experiencing anxiety than I never did before. And I don't know what's wrong with me. And I'm having digestive problems, body aches, memory problems, brain fog, very low energy, can't get up in the morning, up in the morning. I'm not sleeping at night. I have terrible night sweats, all of those things. Heavy periods, crazy periods all over the place. All of those things. Your body's going through a change. The problem is regular GPs, regular doctors do not learn. They do not learn. They do not learn about hormones or nutrition. So yes, when you go to them to get checked out, because you want to get checked out and make sure that you're okay, right? So like I did, I went and I got every test done. I talked to my doctors, argued with them, but I talked to them. And when I was 43, you can imagine they're saying to me, you're too young. You're too young for menopause. You shouldn't be going through anything like this. So the problem is doctors don't learn. So doctors cannot recommend things they don't learn about. They don't have the knowledge. Um, so you, they'd have to specialize. And someone asked me, can we go to an endocrinologist, which is a doctor who specializes in hormones? No, you can't really go to them because of menopause symptoms, because menopause symptoms are a normal phase of your body. Endocrinologists are kind of specialists, so they're really hard to get into, and they deal with the severe hormonal problems, severe thyroid problems, and all of that. So where do women go for things like this? Well, I'm a coach who helps women through this phase. So you can reach out to me. Um, also, there may be other coaches out there who deal with this. It's like, I've been a personal trainer, yoga instructor, I've studied nutrition and all the hormone things according to this age of life. And I've helped hundreds and hundreds of women already. And I've gone through it myself. So the important thing is to understand that your body can bring itself back into better balance. It doesn't mean you're going to get rid of all the symptoms because this is a natural progression, transformation, and transition of your life. It is a natural thing. You will be over-emotional. You will maybe have some anxiety. You will have some weight gain, right? Things like this, but it doesn't have to be crazy. And I started gaining weight at this phase of life, and I actually lost a lot of weight by changing what I ate, uh, decreasing my stress levels, doing different things and that's what I help women with right so you don't have to stay in this crazy hormonal flux experiencing these 
incredible symptoms for very long. It's just if you're going through this phase, there are things that you need to change. Your body's changing, so that means you need to change. And I know that when women um, just talk about, I just need, I'm going to my doctor to get a pill or something, that's not going to help you. Synthetic hormones may get rid of the hot flashes. They may get rid of, I don't know what else they get rid of. I know it's hot flashes. I never took them. I won't take them. But they actually make your body worse. They will actually can cause bloating, water retention, and more weight gain. And then they probably don't even help with with anxiety and a little bit of depression that can happen. So then what the doctors want to do is put you on antidepressants. You don't need to go on antidepressants if you are just in this perimenopause phase of your life and this is just a symptom because you are in perimenopause. Your hormones are changing. They're fluctuating. They're kind of all over the place, right? Um, your adrenal glands are supposed to help to produce the hormones when your ovaries are producing less. But because people are so stressed now, so busy and so crazy, their adrenal glands are getting tired and exhausted, so they're not doing the job they're supposed to be doing. Therefore, they're not producing the hormones properly. So then your symptoms seem worse or become worse or don't get much better. So that requires you to do some things that actually help your body. You need to feed and nourish the glands that produce the hormones, the proper foods they need, the proper nourishment. And I'm talking about micro, right? Vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, good amino acids, right? Those are the food for your glands that produce the hormone. You need to decrease stress naturally in your life. Naturally, naturally. Because just a pill to help you decrease stress is not going to better balance your body. It's not going to reduce the stress response in your body. Most likely you need yourself to do certain things, and they're just like doing some breathing things throughout the day. It can be really easy, right? It is about making lifestyle changes. It's because you are changing, and you got to start taking really good care of yourself during this phase. It's like going through adolescence. If you are in the midlife phase and you feel like you're going through adolescence again, you, you kind of are. <laughs> we have the same kind of emotional craziness that it's someone, a, a girl who's 13 goes through. In perimenopause, that is what happens, right? And just like when you go pregnant, when you're pregnancy vitamins, you need, you know, you need to take better care of yourself. You need to take better supplements. You need to get more rest. Yes, when we have hormonal fluctuations in this phase, these phases of our life, when our hormones are changing, we do need to take better care of ourselves. But please, your doctors do not know about this. That is not what they are taught. It's not their fault. It's just they're not taught it. So they can't prescribe things they're not taught. They can't give you advice or tell you what to do because they're not taught how to balance hormones naturally. They don't have the knowledge. They don't even have the knowledge of the hormones, period, of what to tell you to do. All they're taught is like the they go to these conventions or they're told by the drug reps, if your client is experiencing this symptom, give her this drug, synthetic hormones, give her this drug, and this will help her with the symptoms she's experiencing. That's a Band-Aid, and it's actually gonna make other things worse for you. And it's usually a pill of estrogen, which it's a bad estrogen, and when you take too much bad estrogen, what does that lead to? Breast cancer and other cancers. So they're giving you stuff your body can't really deal with or is the bad version of what you really need, and then it just creates worse problems within your body, right? So. Asking your GP, I suggest going for tests, like blood tests and this and that. And for one, they don't test properly for your hormone levels anyways. Pretty much most all women that go to them, they'll get, oh, no, you're totally fine. Your hormones are totally fine. Yeah. Good, good, good. Then you go see a natural path. You go see, uh, go to a compounding pharmacy, you know, and talk to somebody. Do you know a doctor or natural path or somebody who deals with bio-identical hormones? who knows how to help women through this midlife phase and beyond. Like try to find that type of information. That's the type of coach that I am. So feel free to reach out to me. I also have a free Facebook group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. And in that free Facebook group, you see it in my profile pic on top. Um, I That's what I help women with. And I am doing a three-part video series this week. Wednesday, I did a long one-hour webinar training on the hormones that are fluctuating in this midlife phase that cause the belly fat, the low energy, the, you know, all these different symptoms. 
That's up in my free Facebook group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. Friday, which is tomorrow, in that group, I'm doing a free webinar, one hour training on the food and why what used to work doesn't work anymore, right? And about the types of foods you really need to actually bring your body back into balance. And then on Sunday, I'm doing a webinar training, one hour on um, stress. Because if you are under consistent stress, and note, when you're in this midlife phase, your body is already under more stress than normal because of the hormonal changes. So what you used to be able to handle is no wonder it's like, oh my God, and your emotions are all over the place and you feel more overwhelmed and you feel more, oh my God, I can't even handle this stress and I'm feeling anxious and I'm emotional and I can't sleep, all of that stuff, right? Um, I'm talking all about that on Sunday, okay? So Women Creating Healthy Lives is that Facebook group. Come and join me there or reach out to me on Facebook Messenger if you want to learn about my coaching or my programs about and just have a call and see if I can help you with some of the things you're going through. Because I can tell you, like, you got to go to somebody who understands this, somebody who's been through it, somebody who understands how to bring your body back into better balance naturally. Naturally. You do not, most women do not need HRT or synthetic, well, you, no one needs synthetic hormones, that's for sure. And most do not need an antidepressant. That's just a signal that, oh, I get to learn how to handle these feelings, these emotions, these moods, these feelings, all this stuff that comes up for me, right? It's a time for you to learn how to handle all that naturally, because that'll help you cope now and in the future. And in the future, a pill is not the way to go for that stuff, you guys. Not if it's a symptom. I mean, there may be reasons, and I'm not saying for people, right? I know that some people chose to go on there, but you know, if you've chosen that, you know how hard those are to get off of. When you go try to get off of HRT that your doctor gives you and antidepressants, it throws your body into a hormone chaos, hormone chaos. You feel worse than ever. You feel like your whole life's turning upside down, like you're feeling crazy and you don't know what else to do. So you stay on them or go back on them, right? That is how, this is not normal. This is not what we should be going through. This is not a, a terrible phase of a life. Menopause is not a disease. It is not an illness. It is a natural progression, transition, and transformation in your life. It should not be treated like a disease, okay? You can handle it. It's just a call to start taking better care of you, to start changing some things in your life, in what you eat, in what you do, in how you think, and how you manage your stress, and how you care for yourself. You can do it. All right reach out to me or find someone else who can help you. That's my total thing for you. And watch who you get advice from. Oh my God, right? Oh, please watch who you get advice from and make sure it's something that is uh, the right, the right advice. Okay, so much love to you guys. Bye-bye.